welcome to another episode of Security 101. This week we're going to talk about ransomware. So you may be saying, what's ransomware? Uh, never heard of that before. Well, a lot of people haven't heard of it, but a lot of people have, have experienced it. Uh, the most common form of uh, ransomware and most popular form to this point has been, it's been called fake AV. And if you've never had fake AV, you're very lucky because fake AV is very nasty. Um, what happens with fake AV is you get a pop-up on your screen that says that your antivirus needs to be updated and you click on it. By clicking on that, you um, then download what's called what we call fake AV. There are different names for fake AV, but fake AV generally covers the whole family of it. And you inst it installs itself. And what it does is it determines what kind of AV you have. So say you have McAfee. When it installs, it's going to look like McAfee. So you think you're really using McAfee. If you use Trend, it's going to look like you have Trend. If you have no, uh, Norton, uh, Internet security, it's going to look like Norton Internet Security. They're very sophisticated uh, antivirus programs, or anti-antivirus programs, I should say. So you install it thinking you're really doing something that's right, but they're tricking you into doing it. Once they get on your machine, they install a ton of malware. Um, I can't remember what the last count was. I think it's up, upwards of like 30 different pieces of malware it downloads in the background. And what it keeps trying to tell you to do is you got to buy this to get your machine uninfected. So what they want you to do is they want you to pay to have your machine uninfected. So you pay this money and supposedly they, you download this thing and it looks like it's better. But it's only better for a short period of time. It'll start getting infected again. And then it's going to start telling you you have to pay yet again. And you pay again to get it uninfected. So it basically keeps you in this loop. I've recently heard somebody pay, that paid three times to have their machines, machine um, cleaned. And it actually got to the point where the people with the malware were calling them saying, look, we can take care of it for you for a certain amount of money. And they were claiming to be Yahoo, but they weren't Yahoo. They were these scammers trying to get money. And he did it three times in a row before somebody said, look, you're being scammed. So that's what uh, ransomware is. Fake AV is very hard to get off. Um, I actually recommend if you can, if you have a good backup to reimage your machine at that point, because you don't know what's left on the machine. Now, recently, that was fake AV. Um, which really a machine doesn't stop working, but it's annoying. You can't almost use your machine because pop-ups come up constantly popping on the screen um, to get you to go buy this, this ransomware the, that doesn't really do anything other than wait for a little while to infect you. But even if you get it off in the background, it's still key. It's, it's logging your keystrokes, seeing where you're going. It's doing all kinds of nasty things in the background. So even if you think it's not there, it's still really there. That's why I say it's best to reimage the machine. Now, ransomware recently has gotten much worse because now there's, there's software out there that when you install it, uh, I haven't seen it, but basically what it does is it encrypts your drive so that you can't see your data. And if you want your data, you have to pay them to unencrypt it so you can get it back. So that's what, that's what we call it ransomware. They're, they're holding your data at ransom for, for money. And there's no way that I know of yet to undo their encryption because it's encrypted using only their key information so the only way you can get it back is to pay them. However, you should not be paying them because they're going to do it again to you. They're just going to keep doing it over and over again and, and keep getting money out of you. So the safest thing to do is always keep a good backup. Uh, I've never stressed this before very much, but backup, backup, backup. There's a bunch of software out there that um, you can put on your machine. They'll back it up every day for you. Uh, things like Carbonite, and they're not that expensive. $60 a year, that's nothing if you, you know, start losing your data. But uh, I want to explain ransomware because it's becoming rampant now all of a sudden. Uh, fake AV's been around for a while. Every year it seems like a new version of fake AV comes out. And every year when it comes out, it's, it's more and more detailed and more and more ruthless. Uh, this last one that came out, it would actually disable your AV when it's installed. So your antivirus would get turned off by the, by the malware. So they're getting very, very sophisticated in what they can do. And it's like every year like a new version comes out, like any other software, they come out with a new one. And uh, it's very hard to, to uh, keep up with. But the ransomware is becoming very prominent now as well. And if you, if you need to protect your data, definitely do backups. Because otherwise you're going to be paying somebody to get data back. And people you're paying are going to do it again to you. So it's best that you don't do that. That's it for Security 101 this week. Come back next week and we're going to talk about Android and Android security. If you know somebody that has an Android phone or you have an Android phone or a tablet, it's just an important one because... Android is becoming the most popular operating system out there, and there's tons of malware, and there's some easy things you can do to protect yourself on Android as well. So we'll see you next week.